So a party discipline, I tell you what, so we, we see more discipline from the German than from the American soldier. There was a lot of more discipline. The only thing, mm -hmm. like I said, they told you, don't bother us. They have supposed to have the uh, temporary line for the phone. They don't even put on it. They put like down the street, you know? So yeah, I know some hard head, they, they take a car, you know, and they get away. Hey, but if they catch you, if they don't catch you, they get about 10 people in the village and they shoot it. Yeah, to put them in line. It because I say, hey, we, we told you. We put the paper on, we go, don't do that, don't do that, because they're going to be retaliated. But some hard head, they don't understand what they think it was. Young, young, you know, know, young, maybe yeah. 20, 25. It, they are tired and, and they do things they're not supposed to, so, but the so German... We, uh, we shoot the German guy and then we, we take off, we go up to the mountain, you know, but yeah, but you leave it the other. So could we start off, could you guys tell me um, your names? Vasco De Santi, Anna De Santi. Okay, and can you tell me a little bit about like your background together? I mean, you guys seem like a very happily wed couple. Yeah, for a very we long time. grew up in the same neighbor, two doors away. Two same doors, town. Two doors, like uh, here and your house. Oh wow! Two doors. Yeah. So both of you guys were next door neighbors. Huh? Yeah, two doors. When did you two meet? Well, we grew up together. Yeah. Yeah, but when? When, when, when did you guys... St. Uh, George, St. School. In que ano? In que ano? In que era... What? 19, I was born 1934, and he was born 1931. Okay. And so all the school was yeah, building yeah. up the, the... High school, the high stuff like high that. school, that's all. And when did your guys, it's like, uh, I should have rephrased that question, when did your two, like, relationships Get married, start? Uh, we started getting together uh, right after the war. And uh, we got married in 1954, mm -hmm. which is going to be 68 year wow. this year. And then uh, we came in this country. And uh, because I was born yeah. American citizen. Wow. Because my father, so... I married him and I wait for him to the paper to get ready mm -hmm. and we come together. Wow, okay. Uh, so tell me a little bit about the war. I mean, how did that change your lives living in Italy? Yeah, the war, there's a war. Well, mm -hmm. it's bad for everybody. Uh, you know, no food. Some day is fine, <laughs> some day you get scared, but uh, it's up and down. But, uh, Really, we never threw a very, very hardship, you know. The only we feel we don't have any food. No clothes, no food, clothes. no nothing. Because after, even if we was living in a, a small town, a small you, know. Town, you know, with a lot of land all over around, which everybody has his own partial land, you know, but then, one year, it's fine. Two years, then you cannot produce anymore. So you short a grain, you short a beans, you short a uh, meat, milk, you know, a little by little, you know, you feel them. Mm -hmm. And all the men went to the, the war. First, the first year, the Just first... Just the women and kids. 1940 and 1941, up in 1942, mm -hmm. it's fine. After 42, they started to get done because the government, Italian government, they fell down. German, from our friend, they became our enemy because the Italian went on the side of the American in the England. And then, you know, then you start to feel the difference. But we don't, we can say for the German, we don't have much to complain because they very have a hard discipline. They don't bother anybody if you don't bother them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. if you bother them, they let you know before they're gonna be retaliation. Very, very bad the retaliation. So you keep your mind, but always, you know, the young fellow, 20, 23, 24, 30, you know, young mind, 
Mm-hmm. They told her they can do the Santi and then get away. Yeah, you get away, but you don't think of the one you left behind you. They want the one they be subjected to retaliation then. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened all the time over there, see? But the men, they have to uh, yeah. hide all the cow and everything because they steal them. Mm. And they, it's they, not because they, the one is stealing. They they're hungry. hungry, you know. They don't have... Everybody's hungry at that time, like, well, like those people now, you know. Where we live, you know, the area about the kitchen, the German kitchen, right under my house, outside, wow. you know. And I can tell you what they was cooking. First, a couple of times, they killed a, a big bull, you know? And then I remember they grind everything. They called the woman, you know, the living room, to make hamburg. Mm-hmm. See? And they, we never see it before, but they make, you know, and they, they cook and to ship it to the front line wow. with the Germans, see? To, to, to the soldier. Mm-hmm. The last day, Nico, I seen about, they don't have nothing. I seen about they bring about all kind of fruit, ripe or not ripe, it doesn't matter, just to <laughs> put in a big pot like that, you know, close it and put it probably about five pounds of sugar, you know, mm-hmm. and cook everything, put on the in the shape to the front line. So, That's what they have to eat. Nothing. See? They just have to do what they can, you know. Yeah. So Everything, even that, even if it's not good. That's why they said they steal. They say they was hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. They don't steal nothing from the beginning. No, they they are hungry. Everybody's hungry. We all grow up and we grow hungry. Yeah. Hiding in the field because the bomb is coming, because the plane, you know. Well, uh, mm-hmm. I remember because we was living like one block from the railroad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was no to be concerned about the one line railroad. For what? There was no train, nobody passing by, but there was a order probably to destroy, destroy. Destroy and, the railroad. And that's all, destroy And, and the big, we the Yeah, the, 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 the railroad, you know. The, the road. What's the name? Um. The train that it goes. The track. The tracks. The track, track you know. Yeah, they were bomb, yeah. A big yeah, tra- bomb pieces track. of the of the tracks. Uh, you you can yeah. see the, the the track can go up and wow. and, yeah, and yeah. pieces yeah. like that come <laughs> through our door, mm-hmm. to my door, and it came from the front like that and end up like on the on the back. So the railroad tracks will like explode and like shoot. Oh, yeah. oh, with the bomb, the, you know, yeah. it's everything. The, the, the tire road, the tire, it was flying like a straw. Yeah. When wow. the bomb began, you know. I remember, and that's still in my mind, I had my mother, you know, by hand, you know, and they, I, I keep and drag it around fast, fast, because the airplane, you know, there was, there was a small plane, there was the mm-hmm. big, you know, bomb, just uh, one plane with one bomb, you know. We tried to go on the bomb. field, so the... And then in front of me on the street, you know, all at once, yeah, and they, uh, I say, my, it, it was a stone or rock. There was too many, so bullet. You know, it was machine gun. Yeah, no, machine gun. Mm. I say, in front of, uh, and they, I remember my mother, you know, crying, and they are keeping dragging, you know, and they, so we went in the field. Everybody lay down. They saw, but they don't was the bomb. They don't was after the house. It was just on the road, but. Uh, and, uh, you think you can get it right there, yeah, maybe on the movie, but you can get it there, you get yeah. it there, you get it there, yeah, you know. Also, also. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, and then that's the way it was, and then... Scared all the time, and then you go to sleep, and then the alarm starts sounding. <laughs> so you got to get up and get up and get a and gun the, or whatever and go in the field the, and lie down on the ground. Part of the America, when there was schools, you know, they started shooting anything moving with the cannon. I remember from where there was the American to our village and the village next, okay? Probably was a four, four mile, okay? Now, there was no reason to shoot about maybe some at 
brain, you know, on the on the can, no, you know. They say, no, I can't get it. I can't. They were shooting on the church tower. It was the clock. They were shooting on the clock for what reason? So Americans were doing this. The people, yeah, they did on the site. Hmm. It was a big clock, you know. Yeah. I remember people from the village. They walking over there. Like I said, they was close. They said, "Don't shoot! There's nobody there. It's not German. Why are you shooting?" But, you know, like I said, hey, it's hard to make understand. You know, people they don't care sometimes. So, a party discipline. I tell you, was we we see more discipline from the German than from the American soldier. There was a lot of more discipline. The only thing, like I said. They told you, don't bother us. They have supposed to have the uh, temporary line for the phone. They don't even put on it. They put like down the street, you know? So yeah, I know some hard head, they, they think it car, you know, and they get away. Hey, but if they catch you, if they don't catch you, they get about 10 people in the village and they shoot it. Yeah, to put them in line. Trrr. Because they say, hey, we, we told you. We put the paper on, we don't, don't do that, don't do that, because they're going to be retaliated. But some hard head, they don't understand what they think it was. Young, young, you know, know, young, maybe yeah. 20, 25. It, they are tired and, and they do things they're not supposed to, so, but the so German... We, uh, we shoot the German guy and then we, we take off, we go up to the mountain, you know, but yeah, but you leave the other there. Yep. And what the other guy killed because like you... Like one guy... We know, you know, because they were grown up and say, the American, I mean, the German, they had a big truck, you know? Mm -hmm. They stole the tire mm. at night. They stole so the, the tire. Say, they, 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 they split up the voice. He said, you bring the, the wheel back, or we shoot the first five guy, the person on the street, we get him, we shoot him. But some from the village, they know this, and they let them they know. If you kill, let the people, the German kill the people, we kill you. Because I'm so bad. Early in the morning, they tired. They was the back again. Yeah. See, because we know who stole it. That's all. But a lot of people, especially, and see, we were surrounded by a lot of hill, you know, in our village, small hill. But up there. You know, the people, they shoot in the German, and then they go off up on the month. So, I know... Uh, the partisan, they call it. They call they it call the, the partisan. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you know. So, we know people, they got killed over there by the German, because, in fact, there was one girl who was 16 years old. She was living down next to us by the hand, you know, Minerva, mm -hmm. you know. And this girl, you know, was live on the month. In another village, yeah. not in another village. Probably about 30 miles mm -hmm. from up on the month. So... They were in church. Yeah, they, they were in church. They didn't come out of the church. They didn't come out of the church. Put them in line oh. and... Trrr. And then they put all the, the seat from the church, you know, they put on top on the body and put the and fire. The, uh, fire the German. Up. But they killed it five or six German before, see? Uh, yeah. War is war. That's why I say it's war is a war, but uh, you want to be a hero. You stay there. You kill a German, okay, now you stay there. Don't take yeah, off and leave but, somebody uh, there. You know, people are hungry, uh, people like are desperate, say, you know. people uh, doesn't, doesn't think about too much. And that's our know? story. But uh, then Lulu Balulu, everything set up with the American come, they come, they crime. People start to stole it there. People start before nobody stole nothing, because even on the, during the war we have about the carabinieri, such a police, local mm -hmm. police, the no? police. Okay, you commit something. Somebody stole it, maybe a bicycle or, or anything, or rabbit or something. You know, next, eh, they want to go complain. <laughs> they're not stupid, they know who was, you know, yeah. just a few people. So with the bicycle, they came and go to the family and say, where is your son? He's not home, okay. When he come home, you tell him to come into the 
station. It's to the station. And the bell was going there because if they come back and get it, that was bad. Green jail. So, <laughs> they don't just talk to you. Tell them, say, tell them to come to the station. We want to talk to him. And if he don't go there, then he get it. And there was a big news. That's all. <laughs> but uh, it was bad. The war, was, war is but not after existed. the war, people come back from war. Young people, they have you know, mind screw up and everything. Uh, they was the same people when they left. Mm -hmm. See, okay. In our village, there was only about three or four, four, I guess, die in war. Or twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. That's all. Four young people. One so came down with the plane. Somebody. It was a pilot. One day he was shot down with their plane crossing the Mediterranean going to Africa. The other was shot down in Africa. The other two, they went up to the, at the time, the, and the Italian government, there was a, no friction, but they were different. People, they work for Mussolini, maybe the soldier, they have one lira more a day than the other, they belong to the exercit, belong to the king. Mm -hmm. See? A lot of people, they go for, for getting more money because they ne in everybody's mind in Italy, they, they think the war was a short time. See? They think be, in fact, they call it lightning, lightning war when they start. They mm -hmm. thought, you know, in just one year to everything finish. Yeah, but instead, it went out five years, mostly. And then they got very disappointed because the one they go for Mussolini, they went in Croatia, Yugoslavia, and then over there there was a rough, they went in Russia, you know, to Romania, Russia, and, and then when the Russian attack came down, so everybody take off, they don't even have the equipment mm -hmm. to come back. See? And they're so cold, yeah. they come with the frozen foot, the frozen leg, because there's no yeah. Yeah, shoes. Uh, uh, Besides, there was a lot of, uh, how do you say it? Oh, uh, you know, a lot of traitors. Mm. Traitors, you know, yeah. from the yeah. Italian government. See? So there were traitors within the Italian yeah. government. Yeah. yeah, that's why I went here when rough spy, every other so, Look, Italy, they went in Greece, okay, six months. They was available to get in Greece, six months. They came into Germany in one week, boom, they get away, see. They don't have an army, you know. They, 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 they don't want you, you know what they do, the, the Mussolini ask the soldier, you know, show us the, the army that we have. So they call everybody where they have the army, you know, all the other stations, the other, uh, and they show them that we got a lot of army. And we don't have any. No, so no. then they, they transfer from here to another place. So, oh, we got a lot of army, yeah, so we can go in the war. Over and over again. Yeah, that's, that's the same why. team, the same, the same army. Yeah. Yeah. The same tanks, the yeah. same army. Yeah. Because they don't have a, no for brain. Everybody wanted, like I said, they want to trade, you know. They, they are trader, Mussolini, uh, yeah. uh, son in law. Yeah, good idea, son in law. Mussolini. Mussolini he was a trader. And, uh, yeah, he make a shot his son in law. Yeah. Mussolini, to give you the example. But, yeah, he, you know, he was a trader. You no, know, uh, German yeah. promised a lot of tanks. Hitler, uh, uh, Mussolini was like that, you know. Yeah, he was a friend. But uh, the German he wasn't stupid. He said, We give you the army today. But maybe one this day they turn against us, see? And that's why they don't give him. But they was promising before. Mm -hmm. In Africa, I had people working together in this country, you know, there was in Africa. They, they, they need a gasoline, okay? They send the barrel, barrel. Mm -hmm. They open up, was full of water instead yeah. of gas. <laughs> they send the rifle, they send the rifle in the box, you know, brand new. They try to put the, he, what they call it, to anyway, like the, it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it don't fit. Yeah. See? It's a lot of trader, you know. It's, uh, so they, 
Is all for like they, now. They, they really they don't want the war. war. They don't want the war. That's all. War is war. It should in fact, take in it Africa, away from the vocabulary. About, the American they get about two hundred thousand prisoners, you know, and they ship a lot of ship in America, you know. Because it was Italian, they was all twenty, twenty five years old young people, you know. But they, like, that's they, they started from Africa. First they started from Morocco. Mm -hmm. But then they started over there from uh, Mogadishu, you know, Eritrea, you know. That's the last Italian colony. Yeah. Kenya and Eritrea. Okay, and they started from there, up, 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 yeah, up and, and, and they come down. Yeah. That's all. And the Italians don't have equipment. How you can bring about the army over there in Eritrea or in Kenya? Where you go through? You can go through uh, Camel, mm -hmm. <laughs> Suez Canal. Yeah. You can go through Gibraltar. Gibraltar, yeah. So uh, you are stuck. And that's all. They you should, should not even start the war. They that's should bring all. it before. You should not even uh, like about, think about it. Like about the French. The French have about <laughs> the cardinal, one cardinal, or oh, she, I, I, I forgot the name. But he was in, in route to Algeria, Libya, you know place like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And they, when they stop, they say, you know, they, well, you cannot go there, you know. But it was a car, you know. He said, no, we are investigating about the history, you know, the antique stuff, you know. And he said, he said he was looking for water. Uh, they was looking for oil, see. That's all. But, and they, they find where the German had a deposit, you know, gasoline, oil over there, and then the American come and bomb them, you know, yeah. and that's all. that's all. But anyway, the, we survive, we survive. And then you came here, right? Mm -hmm. In what, 55 you came here? So we came here in 1955, and then first we stopped in Chicago. I mean, we came in California okay. from the beginning. I, my uncle lived in Bexville. Okay, and because he was the one, he make a request for me, you know, so I have to show up. Not because it was a much care about him, because it really was no job and nothing, especially about 1955. I see at that time, if you're not an American citizen, you have to have a sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. They'd oh. be responsible for you in case you can find a job. So they have to the support you. You guys so. had like a sponsor, someone kind of helping you out. Yeah, him, because one. he was in America, not, not for me, but for him. So his uncle used to live in Bakersfield and he'd be the sponsor. responsible yeah. for him. So that's why we have to come over here in California First. from, from oh. the boat, from New York. Mm -hmm. But so then after 20 days, we go back into Chicago because there's no work. So I call my friend, got a lot of friends, they're from the same village, you know. Yeah. yeah. Little parents, a relative. Call them. Right? Yeah. And uh, we call, say, you come here, you go work a lot of way. So we pack everything again. <laughs> and go to Chicago. Back. But the, I tell you, Nico, the trip, especially, you know, when we go in, oh, jeez, hot, hot. <laughs> Pass it to air condition no. on the train. No. So she was expecting for freedom. They said, okay, let's go between one with the wagon, wagon and know. the other. No, oh, maybe okay. catch it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Never was a, there was a cross to desert, you know. <laughs> Jesus, it was like oven. <laughs> like oven the oven. Let's go back inside. Yeah. So finally, we reached about the look impossible, but nothing, even if you give you a sandwich, you know, on the train with the cheese, you know. Oh, jeez, who, who eats the stuff? Mm -hmm. See, the We're taste. used to different food, you We're know. We're used to better food. Yeah, yeah. they're food, different. For drink, not. It set the seven up, a little bit of seven up because it resembling something. Then we used to in drink Italy all with the they call it gazosa. Yeah. See? Yeah, like it's, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's almost the same. But otherwise, 
So anyway, what was it about? But when we left the Chicago for California, yeah. uh, uh, Hanko, uh, my cousin... You guys can keep on talking, by the way. Yeah, my cousin, uh, mother, she gave us a, a big, big uh, um, bag of a sandwich, uh, everything, you know, to eat on the train. So when everybody passing by, they go to the restaurant, and then we start opening up our sandwich bag, you know. And that's all, but uh, it was hard from the beginning because yeah, and then different. The best thing was I think the San Nico. Like I said, we came from California. The train went down south to Texas to Armadillo, you know, and then close to in the ship. Too. When we reached Armadillo, a few miles before, you know, this Texan man passing by, you know, and, and tell us something, you know, but we don't understand nothing. Yeah, start talking to so us. Start talking. Said, we no. don't see nothing. I said, so I'm sorry, I don't understand, you know. So, okay, and it finished. When stop, the, the same man come up, come up with the police, and they say, those guy over there. You want to arrest us because wanna, we don't speak English. Wanna, <laughs> see, there was the time of the Cold War. Yeah. And I'm everybody here. was suspicious. Yeah. See? Okay, fine. So, I don't say nothing. I just pick up my ticket, my passport to give the police. So, that's, and I give him mine and he look, look at it. He and look at everything, the police, you know. And then ask the man, say, where you... Suitcase. Where where'd you sit? Where your suitcase, you know. Where is your baggage? You know, pick him up and come with me. <laughs> they <laughs> they came away, away <laughs> instead of taking Everybody us. Everybody laughing on it. <laughs> <laughs> but so, but we didn't understand nothing. So we find, <coughs> find somebody who looked like Italian. I told him, I said, this guy looked like Italian. I asked him something, you know, he was from Yugoslavia. So I know it was a resemblance, you know. So she said, tell to the lady what they were happening, no? So they explain, you know, and they come to don't worry about it, don't worry, everything will be fine, you know. <laughs> Everybody was so concerned because, you know, we just mm -hmm. said in enough we place, don't bother anybody. Bed, you know, yeah. Yeah. Don't bother, not, don't bother. She was young, she was, I mean, 21, 29. Yeah. 21, yeah. She was 21, you were 24, 23, yeah. So. So imagine you yeah. in that same predicament. <laughs> yeah, just sitting on a train and then all of a sudden the, the police come, come in and they're like, hey, we gotta check you. Come so, from a more, small village, it was nothing ever happened, you know, because everybody knows everybody. <sighs> and uh, all of a sudden, uh, you find yourself in a place where you don't understand. Like if we move in China now, or if you move in uh, Russia or in mm -hmm. some other place, uh, what can you understand? Nothing. Uh, we are the same thing. We do not understand no word. Uh, so anyway, from there we went in Chicago and then we started working over there, working, working, working. Uh, and that's all. For 21 years in Chicago. That's all. And 46 in California. Then we came in California for vacation. Uh, during Christmas time. During Christmas when time. When the kids are off from school, you know. Mm -hmm. And everybody was in the sidewalk, everybody uh, his short pants and everything. Mm -hmm. and, and over there it was so cold, yeah. you know, in the winter time. So we said, what are we doing over there? Uh, you can do the same job over here. So we that's why we back yeah. and go again. Yeah, wow. And that's how you guys, that's how you guys found yourself here, yeah. right? Yeah, 46 years ago. Wow. That's yeah. And we still here. But the, her and Mark both are born in Chicago. Okay. Mari Gabrini Aspero. Mm. Yeah. Both. So, she's a Chicago citizen. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have dual citizenship. Okay. Because he was an American citizen when I was born. So, yeah. I have dual. I have Italian. She, oh, wow. Yeah, you can claim in Italian. Yeah, she's Italian and English. If she wanted. Because when she was born, I was a citizen, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. so, it's just to me, so it, at that time it takes three years. You has to be a resident three years before they give you the citizenship. Mm -hmm. So when he came, he, he, uh, when not, he came because I take him. I was the American when I citizen. When I came citizen, 
you know, American citizen, I registered in the army. Mm -hmm. And there was the war in Vietnam. But they don't call me. So So you, you registered to fight in Vietnam? Yeah, I was no, 20, Vietnam or Korea? I was 26 Korea. years old. Korea, Korea. no, Vietnam. Korea. Korea. Vietnam, okay? Vietnam, Frida. It was uh, up to 60, yeah? Yeah, so no, we... Yeah. So I was in uh, 1957-58. I registered and it was in the army. 57-58? Correct. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's Korea, Vasco. 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 Korea, Korea, Vasco. You registered to fight in the military, but yes. they never called you back? Right. No. But, yeah, but I mean, yeah. you know, you're being recorded, yeah. so make yeah. sure it's yeah. Korea, yeah. not Maybe they don't need a man. They have enough yeah. men, yeah. you know. That'll be corrected. Yes. Yeah, okay. They have enough a young men without yeah. a calling the one that was already have a family. Well, you know, was you know. Mary had a family, yeah. so. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah, Makes sense. So, so like they do now, what, you know. What prompted you, though? What made you want to register for the army? Perché ti registrasti for the army? Because they suggested me. Okay. I say, if we were with you, you say, no, I will register. Okay, fine. And put them in the 5A, you know, should be the fifth arm. That's mm -hmm. all. I never went, so. No, yeah. never called me. That's all. Well, they pre first they called <coughs> the single one, you know. Yeah, they want younger guys. Yeah, younger. Yeah, yeah. Right, no family. So no family. how would you say the experiences that you guys went through growing up, I mean, you guys described to me like the strict discipline that you lived under the Germans, right? Where it's just like, hey, don't mess with us, we won't mess with you. And then seeing, you know, just seeing your town go through these things, like Americans shooting up like clock towers and everything and, you know, railways being bombed. How would you say that affected you guys' outlook on life, or how did it affect your life when you moved here in the States? It affected until you die. You never forget. Well, you always remember. You se, always come back. You hey, hey, hey. sensi. I know. Hey, hey. They're you know, sure. more cautious, they're more prudent. No, uh, you know, what, you, not, what you f leaving, you feeling Diffident on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're not as See? like open. You don't care. Yeah. You don't trust anybody. That's right. Like you, don't, you don't have that trust. Not trust yeah. what, you, what they yeah. went through. Everything they're cautious, changed. they're prudent. They, they second guess. They don't just say, oh yeah, let's go. You know, they, they think things through because of what they went through. You know, mm -hmm. they're not as... They stay with you as long as you yeah, leave. Yeah, they, it they, you. Nico, they say everything changed with the coronavirus, you know? A lot of infected, a lot of people change his mind. You think about during the war of five years, I'm watching influence every with you. The people. Yeah, yeah See, you know, you people. have a different outlook on life. You're the not kids as, is, uh, kids you know, is always luck, care. You're not yeah. as, you know, I understand. cautious, very cautious, prudent. People, people was, they don't trust anymore, that's yeah, all. Yeah. Uh, scared all the time, yeah. uh, suspicious, uh, so you know. They, no, everybody no care nothing. It's not like it used to be, oh, geez, oh, that's what happened. Oh, oh what's happened? Oh, it's okay. It's happened. That's all. And uh, we still, still with us. For so, as long as you live. It won't, it won't go away. Live. Something happened to me. Something happened. No, that doesn't bother. Mm -hmm. There's crime for that, for that. Oh. I went there's through no like it. In, no inside, inside me, say, well, I went through. So it doesn't bother me what happened. See? That's all. Mm -hmm. uh, they live with the scars. Yeah, the, scars. Yeah, the, the scars. Scar, forever. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. See? Forever. Forever. You wish to be like you know, like it used to be people, happy uh, people, you know, uh, gentle one with the other. No, no. Mm -hmm. it's not. For a while. For a while. You feel. 
probably in front of other people you feel like an ignorant person. Mm -hmm. But it's not our fault. Eh? That's all. They, they left a scar, you know? Yeah, they're scarred. For as long as you live. Mm -hmm. And when you see those things on television, it, it, it come back and remind you. See a building knocking down and you see the whatever is over there, everything is broken. Uh, no store, no, <laughs> no clothes, no we shoes. Like we made the shoes out of cardboard. Mm. You know, we made the shoes out of cardboard, mm. a piece of cardboard, and, and we make the sole. Mm. And with a little piece of material, okay, we find it, we make the top. So one day, it was an epiphany day, uh, six days after Christmas. <coughs> It was snow a little bit on the ground. And uh, from my house, it's just like from here to Vista, the church. Mm -hmm. So I started walking, <coughs> go to the church, and I lost the shoes because it was cardboard. Yeah. It got wet. So it just falls yeah. apart. So I have to go back and then no, no church. Uh, <laughs> Nothing else. I tell you what, the ingenuity mm. of the Italian people. He said, uh, all the way up, he so always come up with something, do that, do that, to cope, you know, with the, everything. It was a short about it, see? Uh, all the shoes, uh, they find a way with the... Piece of material, cord, piece cord of material or that, whatever. That they put whatever. together, you know, so. But, and then, Lulu, but Lulu, you know, the America started shipping material there. Up to the point, it was fine, but no. All to the end, like the people, they think, because they, there was, like I said, the plane, Marshall plane, mm -hmm. they was calling, okay? And they was the We send, we send, we send, we send, they send, oh, fine, it's fine for you. But to us, it's no job. You give it the material ready made. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so the people start to complain, say, but wait a minute, before we was doing that, the, I can't now be not able to do nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a plan, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why here they working and working and working day and night. The people over there, they received the, the merchandise, yeah, but uh, we, we can make it, we can work, we can make money. Yeah. You know? And, and then well, we survive, we're just for survivor. You know? so, survivor, that's all. Mm -hmm. you know? Quello dell'occhio per te, tutto è per l'occhio lunedì. Oh, the high dog. So that's, uh, that's the way Nico you knows it. For so many years, and then little ball of change. It was take a time. Yeah, okay. It was take a time. Then, you know, they started the shipping. Even the cement, we don't have the factory to make a cement. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then they came a uh, boat, you know, loaded with the ton, a ton of cement. So, working, working. Like I say, the Italian, you don't mind to work. And then they start to put up together, house, building, there, there, and they start there. Fix it what is then broke. They, <coughs> they start to get a contract with the country. One country do this, the other country do that. And like I say, European people, they don't put themselves on this side. They say, oh, I don't know. They do the all kind of work, see? Maybe not now, mm -hmm. but at the time, everybody longer was work and work. Uh, so all the buildings started to come up and again, everything clean, and this restaurant, this, that, that, that. So it took a time, it took a time. But, and then there was a lot of immigration. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of immigration, they help. Because all young people, it wasn't work, okay? Take off from Switzerland, from France, Canada. from England. Canada. In Canada. Canada. In Canada, I remember my village and I can figure out about over 100 young people. Left for Canada. In a small village where we have like about 300 family. family. Okay? You take off 100, 150 young people. Hey, there was nothing left anymore, just a woman, old people, and that's all. Little kids. See, in case. And old and, people. And there was every village. In Canada, they started like a Toronto in 1950. It was nothing. Mm -hmm. Now it's a big city. Multi built up from Italian, German, 
in French. Because all the immigrants Asian, after the all war. All yeah. people yeah. immigrated over there. Yeah. That's the way it was Europe. So, and then they come up very good, very good. So look like they, they got tired to be good. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, Europe was uh, come up, but still immigrate. Uh, was a uh, short in Italy. The people, which young people, they get to college, they get laureate, you know, they have a diploma, uh, nurse, doctor, engineer. engineer they, they, they take off. Mm -hmm. They go to they France. Have, uh, they go in England. They go in France. They go. In Holland, in Denmark, and you know, places where they pay, mm -hmm. see? And then if they come in here, even better yet, some people, if we, some hospital here require the need, hey, they apply, and they, they come. Yeah, they got girls from our, from our town, people that we know, their parents, and she, she, she's a doctor, and she started working in Italy, but the, the pay is so low over there. So she moved here, she's in Indiana, mm. working over there, La Figliola di yeah, yeah. Coso, <coughs> di Dante. Yeah. And a lot of other people, people especially after the war, the old, those doctors in Chicago, they are from the South Italy. They, they come, eh, eh, all the Italian people go, try to go to the Italian doctor because mm. the language, you yeah. know. Uh, so, uh, people do whatever they can mm. to, 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 to raise the family, to make sure they don't need, you know, don't need anything. Totally. And, uh, what can you do? Yeah. Uh, besides work, there's nothing else you can do. You can go stealing stuff or... Well, now Italy is a full uh, strange people, mm -hmm. you know, Italian. They're uh, all away. The Italian are going. So the <coughs> young left, the family don't come up. Young people, they don't come up. They don't multiply. And they came in. They the, don't have the kids. Came in the people from other country. Mm -hmm. And in my village where we was living, the church is closed, and not only my village, yeah. but a lot of villages, yeah. the church is closed, closed. because they so don't have no, no priest. Yeah. No, no, no priest, priest. no people. Only for funeral or for other occasion, you call the people, the priest, then you open the church, they make the what after me, and then cross them again. See? But uh, can you imagine our country? It was all Italian, we know from the great-grandfather to the one born, you know, all Italian. Now, they are Indian, they are black people, they are, they came from all over. They are from Yugoslavia, sometimes Greek. There are a lot of people that came from all over. And they work in the field, most of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, but pick uh, up orange, pick up the vegetables, most of People like, like uh, Italy. They like <coughs> the way they life, which they don't have in other country. Mm -hmm. They like the climb, which now change everything over there too, anyway. But they are satisfied better than when they live. See, where and, we came from is like and over the here. Italian live, it was there, they live it and go work in other country. Mm -hmm. We are close to the ocean and close to the mount. Yeah. So, so the weather, it was... Uh, Perfect. There yeah. was a oh, Tuscany, where we came from, you know. Florence. The, the Florence. Florence yep. The region, you know, Tuscany. It's one of the best in Neo Italy. Area. That's the best. Mm -hmm. They got the mountain, they got flat land, they got the river, they got everything. See? And the climb is beautiful. People enjoy. And, Vacation when they came in from yeah. Germany. So Lara Island, you know. You well, know. Now Germany. people travel all over the world to Italy just yeah. to see this. Germany and yeah. Switzerland, <coughs> they bought a lot of house. But mm -hmm. no, now, about maybe 20, 30 years ago, see, in fact, the month back it was, you know, they call it Appennino, mm -hmm. which is a Appennino month. They are not big month, I call it Alpe, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a Appennino, which reaches like about 
1500 meter. Yeah. And so like about 3000 feet going. and that's all. Keep on going, sorry. Okay. Keep on going. Dai, racconta so, l'appennino. They, 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 they bought a lot of house like, and then they it's close to us, they call it the little Switzerland. Mm -hmm. See? Because, you know, Most they, they bought Switzerland. it and the whole house, real, real whole house, they make it like a chalet, they make it beautiful. And, and they go on vacation, you know, the, in the winter time, they go over there, in the summer time, they go back in his own country. But uh, it's close and by now, see, the, with the a car, it take about just to five, six hours from Switzerland, they came in over there where we live, you know. And then the highway, they come up with the big highway and they easy to travel. Mm -hmm. Everything is That's close, you know? not, not over here that no. you need a... Look, look at that, from England. Yeah. They came in France, underground. See, used to be able to take a, a the train. boat. Even if it's a short trip, 18 miles, 21 miles. But uh, with the train underground, they go over there. Mm -hmm. See, you, see <coughs> you can travel the car because it's highway, yeah. you know, under the Manica, I know, under the ocean. Mm -hmm. And there's fast moving over there too right now, and, you know, like I used oh, to. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now they got big car, they, they got everything. They got big car all over, car all over, but mm -hmm. people, it's so different. They, they don't have a nothing to, what can I say? Oh, you in America, you got that, that. They no, got they got everything over there like, too. Like now. you used to, you know, say, yeah. oh, but you in America. Maybe it's a, something different, you know, yeah. I don't say not. Because they try to imitate everything from me. I see. See? They have a McDonald's, they have a taco, yeah. they got that, they got uh, everything. coffee, everything. They, even the advertiser, because we watch Italian TV, mm -hmm. when they make advertising, so imitated from yeah. it. Instead, like about me, not too many years ago, but about two years ago, you don't see many advertising. And now Somebody <laughs> from her, they open their mind mm -hmm. and say, hey, you make advertising, you know, you can increase the so. Otherwise, from the beginning, they don't believe it too much. But now, everything. For Lulu. And that's the time we talk about, that's when they ruin the young people. The kids used to be in the morning, every bread, coffee, milk, mm -hmm. you know, with sugar. Okay, now pastry for that, pastry for that, pastry, pastry, pastry. <laughs> Everybody <That's>... got diabetes. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody can say <laughs> diabetes. You know, like used to be. Yeah. Young kids with diabetes yeah. is a shame. Yeah. But what can I say, Nico? The, the world changed. changed. That's all. Yeah. You can do. It's all upside down. I see. So obviously now, I mean, you guys have made a very comfortable life for yourselves. Right. You guys are a very happy couple, and like, <laughs> it's not only that. A much has changed. Used to be. In in Italy, condominium, they never you worry about fire, fire, fire there, fire in the city, fire on the small village and house. Why? All the furniture there, it's all made American style, mm. you know? A lot of resin, a lot of paint, a lot of oil, a lot of that, a lot of that. Used to be they never, never get fire, you never hear it, maybe some barn. You get fire from the straw in everything, but no regular house. Yeah, because now they're using uh, the gas, the gas tank. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people doesn't have the gas line yet, so they're using the tank, and sometimes they explode it, yeah. and yeah. and everything go but up. Besides that, the fire get easy now over there too, and all the wall. I used to about that time and our time. There was with the brick and yeah. cement, the brick, brick and cement no and wood the or a lime, brick and lime, <coughs> no. brick and lime, that's all. Now they got a drywall, they got wood, they got mm. that, they got uh. paint and that, that, that. But it's changed. It will change it, so. Yeah. 
So obviously, I was gonna say like you guys are living a very comfortable life here, and I know that you two really enjoy gardening, as is evident by all the the vegetables you guys give. And um, how are some ways? What are some ways that you guys are you know staying healthy, uh, maintaining your relationship, you know, throughout this these sixty eight years of living, right? I mean, obviously, yeah. that's a huge accomplishment for you too. Well. They, well, a long time ago, when you get married, this it just they say even now, but now they, they don't care. Mm -hmm. For better, for worse, for rich, for poor, in sickness and in his health, until that do a part. That's it. Mm -hmm. And we believe in that. Long time ago. Yeah. Now they go to Las Vegas, they get married in a week oh, yeah. later and oh, divorce. They say anything, they say, but they get it from here or from the other, who cares? Yeah, you know, they, like, they say but like routine, I say. Ba, 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 but they uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's true. A long time ago, they, it's they, they don't take it serious. Hey, mm -hmm. They don't take it with uh, something, say, hey. Soon as something happens, let's oh. go get divorced. Mm -hmm. It's easy. And it's over there, the same. In fact, now, now in Italy, and so be on the other country. They don't get married anymore, most. See? They live together. They live together, and that's all. Mm -hmm. See, But in Italy, 1921, was 121 women killed, or either from the companion, or either from the ex. See, 121 in 19... In 1920, in 2022, yeah. They killed the... See? Mm -hmm. The camp, the the, yeah, the like compagna, la, 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 la maid, you know, the one they stay together. Yeah, or they, the compagno, or the extra, I mean, the ex husband or fiance or what you say. And so, so they get killed. It used to be never happen. No, see? that's what I say. They kill like change. a fly. Yeah. Yeah, see? Do you think so. your shared experiences and the things that you both just described to me, like things you two went to? Like one thing, do you think that? The, the problem, Nick, is this, you see, after yeah, yeah. the woman start the work, mm -hmm. you know, which is good, you yeah. know, there's plenty of work, they have to, they need it to be working, but then they want to be more independent. Independent, they don't get along from your husband. Uh, sometimes the woman make more money than husband. So, and they, they try, take advantage or they try to tell them what to do, but uh, you see, you can tell, in my mind, I can tell you what you want, eh, but the man is still man. Then all at once, when they, uh, boom, explode, and then something happens, see? That's all. Mm -hmm. But uh, they change. Change is not only Italy, it's all over the world. Yeah. 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 Change over here, That's too. We, we tell about Italy because, like I say, <laughs> We watch TV, Italian TV, we, you know, every TV, every radio, they are more interested to give you the news, the bad news, than the good one, you know, <laughs> the good one, nothing happened good, never, but there are a lot of good people, mm -hmm. that's all, but you never hear about them. <laughs> yeah, that's true, never. that's very true. Well, yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have anything more that you'd like to say, I mean, now's the time, but... If not, then I think we could wrap it up. What can we say? Yeah, you can wrap it up. All right, thank you. <laughs> I think we talk a, a lot. Nico, yeah. oh, I don't have much time, so <laughs> yeah. to me, everything, everything's fine. Yeah. yeah, well, thank you guys so much once again for your time. You're welcome. I want to give a guy two little book they talk about the war in, the war in Africa. Okay. You know, I want to give you if I can. So they give you some news. Yeah.